Uh, hello and welcome to FDIC. My name is Justin Spurk. I'm with Zoll Medical and uh, today we're going to briefly over, uh, go over some of the uh, advanced parameters on the new uh, X-Series Advanced Monitor, uh, recently released by Zoll. Um, basically what we're going to start with today is our real BVM Help module. Um, very easy to use. It's a plug and play technology. You can see the cord here connected to the monitor um, as your most BVMs. You simply give a breath and you got a dashboard that pops up on the monitor here. What we're seeing is your uh, tidal volume here. The uh, rate is, or the target range is 450 mLs. So from 400 to 500, we considered uh, compliant. And then in the middle, this is the uh, countdown timer. We go from five, four, three, two, one, ventilation. And then all green numbers means we're good. So here is the uh, breaths per minute. Right now we're set at 10. Um, these can all be configured uh, to patient-specific uh, parameters. Um, again, a simple BLS skill, it keeps you on track and really takes the guesswork out of uh, using this monitor, allowing you to really effectively ventilate that patient. Um, typically what you see with this type of feedback is that <clears throat> on, on average, the standard paramedic or the standard provider in the field is ventilating at a rate of nearly triple what is acceptable. Um, so you're looking at around anywhere from 20 to 30 ventilations per minute when the standard rate is about 10. With this feedback on the screen, we're able to easily dial in and get to the correct number. Um, outside of real BVM help, the other thing that we want to uh, highlight today would be the TBI dashboard. So the real BVM help coincides with TBI dashboard. So I've acti activated the, the dashboard on the monitor. What you're seeing here is the BVM help at the top of the screen, top right hand. So there's our tidal volume, our countdown timer. Below that is a 15 minute uh, interval for blood pressure. Up here on the top side is the end tidal CO2 trending. So that's three minute window. And then below that is SpO2 three minute window trending that as well. Um, the reason that this is important is it helps the uh, provider to avoid that secondary injury uh, for the patient. I mean, what we're looking for here is uh, pretty Three basic numbers, 90, 90, 10, 90 for your systolic, 90 for your SpO2, and 10 for your breast per minute. Uh, the end title would what you would want to be between you know, 35 and 40. Um, with this, it, we have all the information that's needed for that clinician uh, to understand what's going on with that patient and really avoid those secondary injuries. So outside of the uh, TBI dashboard, the other feature that we're going to look at is the live streaming pretty uh, self-explanatory. We just have this button down here that activates live streaming and that allows us to take this monitor screen and display that on an off-site location, uh, whether it may be um, like a pandemic situation, telehealth has become very important, but this allows a provider to communicate with the physician. They get to see real time what's happening on the monitor screen and make a call for that patient, whether or not they should be transported um, to an ER, emergency care, or whatever that may be. Um, with that being said, if you guys have any more questions, please visit the Zoll website, uh, www.zoll.com, uh, or reach out to your local rep. Thank you.